Hello there. Welcome to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband. I am Squawker. I make videos on YouTube. Anyway, this is a semi-blind um, Let's Play. Um, I've played a tutorial and uh, the theme, but I've not done a playthrough, so this is my first little playthrough. Which will be very interesting. And if you heard a loud beep, then yeah, that was me um, touching my phone up. <coughs> anyway, so we're going to make a new game. Um, so let's just get that going. Um, I got a beat there. Wounded partner. Welcome, adventurer, to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must first create your character. Remember that in traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of nobility. That does not mean, however, you should not, cho not choose to play a female character, or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain more of the same goals, and in fact, may have much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. In other words, the Middle Ages were sexist as shit. So, I'm gonna be a male. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make my character like me. Um, you were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was. Uh, he was a hunter. You were the son of a family who lived off the woods, doing whatever they needed to make ends meet. Hunting, woodcutting, making arrows, even a spot of poaching whenever things got tight. Winter was never a good time for your family, as the cold took animals and people alike. But if you always lived to see another dawn, throw your brothers and sisters. Might not be so fortunate. I am slowly becoming Christian Bale, Batman, because I have a fucking cold. You started to learn about the world as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your own life as pages in the school. I was a street urchin. Please, sir, do you have any money? Could I have more? As a boy growing out of childhood, you took to the streets doing whatever you must to survive. Begging, thieving, and working for gangs to earn your bread. You live from day to day in this violent world, always one step ahead of a law, those who wished you ill. Then, as a young adult, life changed as always does. You became a squire, a um, French thing, I'm guessing, a university student, a good peddler, a smith, a game Let's give myself a lucky point. I went to you. Prove a distinction from sudden to you. Somewhere along the way, you had to become a man. And that is when you saw the light for the first time, and it blinded me. You found yourself as a student in a university. Christian Bale is back, as he studied theology. Philosophy and medicine. Can he trust Harvey Dent? No. Nah. That'll be the last Batman reference, I'm sorry. But not all your lessons were learned in lecture halls. You may or may not have joined in with your fellows as they roamed the alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was a bit of a slacker. Um, so, when everything changed, I striked out as my own as adventurer. What was this decision? Personal revenge? Loss of love? Wanderlust? Oh, I want personal revenge. Sounds like I could give myself a really dark backstory. Right. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it is not as difficult a choice as to leave for rage like burning in your heart. You want vengeance. You want justice. You want to kill Tinkleberg. What was done for him cannot be undone, and his debts can only be paid in blood. And now to become an adventurer. What will the games realistic saving policy. Uh, no quitting without saving. If I fuck up, I fuck up. Simple as. I'll enter your name and distribute your attribute points. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm already a few minutes into the I'm only five minutes in. I I've got a timer on. Because fraps. Right, enter name. Um. Squacker. Fuck's sake. Squacker. I am level 1, I have 44 health, 123 experience, and some turn me 1 out, so... Alright, let's start with these attributes, so... Alright, strength, agility, intelligence, and charisma. I'll put 2 into my strength, and... 
one into charisma and then another into agility. Um, let's see. Oh, and I, I, I may increase some um, skills, so let's have a look at a few. Iron Flesh increases my hit points by 2, right? Um, yeah, nice round 50 health points, that's lovely. Um, shield, yeah. Reduce damage to shield, 8% per level, improves shield, yeah, that, that sounds like it could be useful. Um, anything else? Um, Leadership, yes. I must lead my people. And I don't have enough charisma to do anymore, so I'm a sort of leader. Probably a very, very shit one. Uh, what does surgery do? Each point of his skill gives a 4% chance for a mortally struck party member. Will be rude. Oh, yes, that would be good if I, if I make a friend. Um, and tactics. Uh, yeah, that would be good. Okie dokie, right? I could also have 15 points went to um, proficiency, so... Hmm, I think a two-handed weapon might be cool, so... Let's bring that up to 40. Uh, yeah, I, I, might, I might go for a nice melee character here. Yeah, that, that seems about right. I might go for a melee character, like a heavy. Okay, that's about done, and... Right, let us begin the adventure of Squawker. The man out for personal revenge against I I don't even know I don't know. Maybe we'll meet him. Tutorial. Oh yeah, I get to make a face. Fucking hell, it's Carl Pilkington except he has hair. Okay. Um. Right. Let, oh my god. This will take. Right, I'm not going to spend ages, or at least I'll spend ages, but I won't show this. Uh, let's just let's play with a few sliders. Let's see age. Oh, he didn't even. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh, how old should I be? Um, well, I seem fairly young, so uh, I look about 30, I guess. And hair color. Ooh, I want black hair. I need black hair. That satisfies my. That's not black. Um. Where's black? Nah, uh, somewhere. Right, that's weird. Alright, these are to change my skin. Uh, yeah, I like that. Um, let's see, let's go. Ooh, I like that. That's got some nice hair. Uh, looks kind of badass as a baldy, actually. Nah. Um, let's see. I don't know if I want one. Yes, actually, yes. Yes. I think I'm slowly becoming a reggae man. Reggae died. I'm the lord of reggae. Right. Uh, ooh, these are fun spiders. I'd make his head r extraordinarily thin. Oh, why? Yeah, let's go for a thin head. Face ratio. Ooh. Yeah. Face depth. I have a sticky out of your face. That looks good. Well, you are one ugly ass motherfucker. You you will make many friends, um, because the only thing I can do is nose out. Let's let's give you a huge nose. Uh make it wide. Uh make it tall. There we go. The ugliest man with huge nose. But he has a kick ass beard and kick ass hair. Let's just see if I can do out for his chin. Give a nice forward chin. There we go. You, sir, are ready for your revenge... Uh, no. Your quest of revenge, not your revenge of quest. Let's go get revenge against the guy who made you look like this. You hear about Caladria, a land torn between rival kingdoms, battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power and glory and revenge. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may finally leave your past behind and start a new life. Fuck that shit. You feel that finally you hold the key to your destiny in your hands, in uh, my hands. <laughs> Free to choose as you will. And whatever your course you take, great adventures away. Uh, what should I do? Join a caravan? Join a caravan? Alright, oh, what kingdom should I start in? Swadia? Vegas? Kanak? Oh, Kyrgyz? Kanak? 
Kurjit. Kurjit sounds more fitting. Nords. Rodox. Of the Saranid Sultanate. Mm, I really don't care. Let's just go. Saranid Sultanate. We came with a caravan crossing the great desert to the east of Caladria. The Bedouin guys chose your route carefully, leapfrogging through treacherous dune fields and across empty gravel plains to low flying oasis. Rich with. Is that how you spell oasis? Uh, with orchards and date palms. Your great fear was that your caravan might lose its way or perish first. The small bands of raiders who hovered just out of Bosha, waiting to pick off stragglers, were oddly a comfort. At least water could be no more than a day's ride away. It was a great relief when the mountains came into view, and on the evening of the following day, you crested a rocky pass, and in the distance you could make out of the sea, and the towers of Shalariz silhouetted against the sunset. I'm going to become the Prince of Sultani Saranidi world. Um, you fall asleep by the time you are in the unit Shariz. You fall asleep quickly. However, you come, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out into the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear the sound that stands the hairs of back on your neck. The rasp of the blade. The, the blade's rasp. It goes, shh. That is not a rasp. This is a rasp. Is that, is that what you want your sword to do? I think I'm going to get thrown into combat here. I got a crossbow. That is awesome. What else do I Oh, a sword. I got this. Right, it's just a crossbow and a sword, right? Where is my attacker? Oh no. Sword, sword. Right. Uh, I don't have an issue with this. I wanna not Ow. 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 Well this is great for my first combat encounter. I'm dying. Oh no, what have I done? Ow. Ow. There we go. Ah, come on, Red Gamer. Oh, oh. You are struck down, however, before you lose consciousness, you hear shouts and rush of footballs. You find yourself indoors, weak but alive. I'm gonna get tortured. Oh, hello. Who is this ginger man? The merchant of Shariz. Ah, you're awake. It is good to see you can still walk. You are lucky that we came along. I have been speaking with the watch. When we heard the sounds, we fight and ran to see what was happening. We didn't arrive in time to prevent you getting knocked down. But we may have saved you from getting your throat cut. Now, maybe you can help me. So, save your life. So he saves my life and I have to do a quest, right? What am I doing? We've always had brigands on the hills, driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild, venturing into town, looking for even prairie. This is how every strategy game starts, I swear. And I've skipped that. Um, I think his brother ran off and got, well, bugged. Uh, his family and we don't protect him even though he's irresponsible and there's a ransom so here's my proposition if you look like you've had a bit of experience with a blade yeah I had some it didn't work out more importantly you must you must have a bit of fire in your belly or you wouldn't come to Caladria to seek your no I'm seeking my revenge on a slice of toast so here's what I'm asking Gather a small party, trap the bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget. Eh, good way to start off. Doing a quest. The quest for the Shariz man's merchant's brother, and he's indifferent to me. Can I? Ooh, notes. Oh. Don't think this is really necessary right now. Anyway, I won't be able to do this myself. If you try and take on a whole gang single handedly, the hunter will become. Well, just one of them took me down, to be honest. Um, you'll want to round up a group of volunteers. Go to the villages, looking for a bit of work that's more interesting than tilling soil. D take this purse of a hundred denars. Consider it an advance on your reward. Just one more, and it could plagiarize Rome. Go around to the villages, use the money, hire help. I reckon that you need at least five, five men. Oh. I gotta make up a voice myself. <clears throat> Very good, sir. I'll go collect some men from around the villages. That is my voice for the rest of the game. Good, you can find me again in a tariff in Sharris. My voice changes constantly because I am inconsistent. And, yeah. Right, I've got a quest. Q. 
collect five men. The merchant of Shun, right? He's an Atarian in Shun, right? Let's just have a look. Ooh, this is a pretty nice patch. You got yourself some fruit. Um, tab to leave now. Uh, right, if I press tab, I'll leave this building, right? Right, I'm done exploring this crib. Let's go. That wasn't tab, that was ah, that must be in first person, right? Tab. There we go. Oh. Oh, so this is a map. Right. Um, so this is Sharis. So, uh, oops. This is like all of Ka Cauldron. Um, and I'm paused. Um, I don't know why. And, oh god. Do, how do I move? Ah, there we go. I have to use Waz Wazda to move my camera. Right. We're going to Iron Suti first. That looks like a village. Oh, right. Just give me the hint after I do something. Thanks. Alright, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. I got a Horus. Dun, 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 dun. The village of Asin. Oh, no, sorry. Ow, Ain a sounding is a nice village. Um, sounds like a happy place. Um, you remember? Yeah. I suddenly remembered. Oh, this is a Sarnid Sultanate place. How could I ever forget? I would like to recruit some volunteers. Just one. Sure. Okie dokie. Right got one. Um, right, where shall I go next? We go to Mit Nun. Can I go to Mit Nun? Yeah, looks like I am. Oh, there's, there's people there. They're looters. Looters. Hello, Mit Nun. Oh, it's another happy place. Right, can I have volunteers? Oh, two. Right, that puts me on three. And there's Karaf Castle. It's got lots of people and it's controlled by a man called Imir Hai Hiwan. Um right, where should we go next? Let's show it Ooh. Oh damn it. This camera's gonna take some getting used to. Right. Hawaha. Let's go here. Just going on my little horse ride for absolutely ages. Dun 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 dun, dun. Oh, loot has missed me. Dun 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 dun, dun, dun. Just we'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. We're here! Hey, the village is an unremarkable village. Oh, so it's not a happy village. Oh, that's a shame. Right. Recruit some volunteers. Two. Right, that's enough. I think I got six. That's, um, yeah, I've got six. Right. Where is Shariz? Yeah, Shariz. I think, I think that might be the capital city. Oh. Oh, there's quite a few people. I think these are Saranids. They're just going around their usual business, and I'm just riding around with my six peasants. Right, visit the tavern. Hello, tavern keeper. Is your merchant friend here? See? Um, are you my guys? I don't think you are. Uh, have any of you seen my friend? Ah, here you are. Hello there. Look, you need more men. Right now, you only have five in your pack. That's how many you told me to get. If you attack with too few men, you may find the uh, hideout by right, getting yourself dragged up to it in their fences, and that's not the plan. Go and get even more volunteers. What? Hang on, dude. I've got five. Alright, I'll go get more peasants for your, I don't know, very evil purposes. Ugh, I hate peasants. Let's go to the town. Look, we're in Sherry's, the place where I got mugged earlier. And, uh, just, just leaving. I'm out of here. Just out of here. Yeah, there we go. I left. I left the lovely little city. Right, where is my final volunteer? Um, where have I not been? Uh, the Sultan at Saren... There's the Saranid Sultan, or whatever you want to call it, it's not that big. I'll go to Dib Dibane. Even though it will take me ages. And I'm going right into some loot. Oh, but they dodged. They were scared of my diseased peasants, because I would give them a disease. I'll get there soon, don't worry. Just riding. Just riding. There we go. Dibane. Hello. Five? Right, now I definitely have enough. Now I definitely have enough, right. Let's go back to Shari's. Come on. I've got 11, there are 11 people in my party. Oh, well, yeah. 
ten, and one more including me. I think we've done this. Go away, looters. Go away. Just travelling to Sharris like I always do. Dun, 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 dun. There's a village farm that's going to Sharris. Guess they could use an escort really, or I could just go and kill them all. Oh well, I'm not bothering. I'm not a douche. Unless one of the villages is who I'm ever getting revenge on. Right. Go to the tavern. Hello, tavern keeper. I'm just here to um, do things. Hello. Ah, oh, there you are, Merchant Sharris. Excuse me while I talk to you from this table, and my phone alarm's just gone off telling me I've hit 20 minutes, so let's just get this conversation done and done. Hello, Sharris. Splendid work. You have hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now, travellers entering Sharris have told us that there is a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of the town. I suspect they are all for the same band, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them, and make them disclose the location of their lair. Cool. Torture. Right. Uh, ooh. I can make him come with me. Or shall I hunt them? Um, why don't you come with me? You, you look like you could be useful. Because I am paying you to take care of it, that's the short answer. The long answer is I've got some leads to follow up in town. Alright, so you're just busy doing your own thing, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll hunt them myself. Right, the last thing I want to do is I want to see if I can just get myself some nice equipment. Or better equipment. How much money do I have? It, oh, this is my inventory. I have fish. And a book. Um, it requires nine intelligence for me to read. I don't think I have that. I've got a hunting crossbow, some bolts, a rusty. S I, I could use a better sword. Uh, my horse can stay though. And I'll need armor soon, because this isn't really going to cut it. Is there a merchant here? Merchants? You're a horse merchant. Um, anything going on in here? No, just a wooden door. This is a pretty nice place, actually. It's pretty swanky. Um. Oh look, I, I see weapons over there. Yeah, I can jump. Hello there, weaponsmith. Can I buy things? I want to buy a new weapon. Show me your wares. Ah, yes, sir. The best you will find anywhere. Yes, I know. I think I know how to trade. I have, oh no wait, I have 110 donuts, he has 475. Oh god, this, this is some expensive stuff here. I've already established, I'm going, I'm going to be a heavy, maybe. The two-handed axe, that'd be cool, I can't afford it. Anything I can afford? Anything less than 110 donuts? Uh, I don't really want to buy rocks. Um, no. Nope. 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 I'll have to come back another day when I'm richer. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Sell Stuff for an Obscene Price. And hello there, townsman. I'll just finish off by talking to you. What? How is life here? Times are hard, sir, but we must count our blessing. Aha! Your town sucks. And that is also where this episode ends. The very uneventful first episode where I learned about my character and gathered some moldy peasants. Next time, I make them fight for justice. Bye!